I just finished traveling Nunavut's to MP, Mumilak Kakak, has been spending the summer visiting Nunavut communities to see Nunavut's housing problems up close. She's been to 100 homes so far. There are a lot of reports, there's a lot of statistics and a lot of numbers, but that's exactly what it is. It doesn't put the human aspect and real experiences on paper. I've met elderly women who have openly told me that they live with their abuser and are forced to and have lived with them for years. I have met parents whose children have been taken to the foster care system because their home is deemed unfit and they have nowhere else to go and no other options. I have met parents whose children, whose child has just found another sibling hanging from the ceiling and in that point in time do not know what to do in the moment and trash the house. Throughout the tour, she's been collecting data and photos that show just how run down Nunavut's housing is. It's also in very short supply. Nunavut's Housing Corporation estimates they would need 3,000 brand new units just to meet current demand. Add in the fact that Nunavut has Canada's youngest and fastest growing population, the picture is grim. Yeah, we've seen apologies and that's a step in the right direction, but concrete action investing into homes for Nunavut Mewt is what the federal government needs to be doing. These violent cycles, these violent systems keep Inuit oppressed and the federal government continues to feed into that. Nunavut's MP is different from most MPs. She's younger than most of her colleagues, she's an Inuk woman, and she isn't big on wearing suits. She explains, what you see is what you get. The, the way that I do things is very different. I sit on seal skin in the House of Commons. I, I dress like this. Usually you would see members, you know, they're in suits. They're in, I like showing off my tattoos. I like, you know, having my nails done. I like looking different, and I embrace that, and I don't let anybody else tell me otherwise. Another difference? Many politicians start their next campaign right after being elected. Kakak doesn't know if she would run again if there was a snap election called in September. I, I've been in conversation with, you know, certain very, very close people, including Jagmeet, and he's supportive of whatever I decide. But honestly, I, I see the fence and I'm smack in the middle of it at this point. I really, I'm not leaning either way. I really don't know. To visit Nunavut right now, most people have to spend 14 days in isolation due to COVID-19. Kakak is exempt from that as MP. But she's done the 14-day quarantine twice now, voluntarily. So she wouldn't be treated any different than the people she represents, even if she's unsure if she wants to keep representing them. Kent Driscoll, APTN National News, Halloween.